The first one you need to know mandatorily is Java 8. The concepts of Java 8 that have been introduced, if you are able to learn about Java 8, Java 10, Java 15 and all these things, then definitely you should learn. But first you should learn Java 8 and then you can go to all the advanced concepts and advanced versions. The second one, you learn SQL, like how you can do the database operations and how you can connect your code to the database. The third one, you learn Spring and what is the concept of dependency injection and what is the concept of inversion of control and how exactly the bean creation differs in a normal Java project to a Spring Java project. And the next one is Spring Boot. At least the basics of Spring Boot, if you are not able to build the project in Spring Boot, at least you need to know the structure, even though you don't have real time experience, you should have learning experience in Spring Boot. The next one, you be aware on how Jenkins is working, even though you are not able to write the script and build a job at least you should know how the job is working the next one is maven so how exactly maven works what is dependency management and all such stuff and finally unit testing you learn what is JUnit, <coughs> learn what is mockito learn what is assertions and all these things